What's up guys, Midget HD here. I have a really, really awesome review for you guys today. It is the American Airlines 777-300ER. And as I take you along the box, I will give you some details about American Airlines, the 777, and maybe a little bit about their livery. Not, not too much, not really the history, but just the new livery. That's off the tripod, and here we go. So, American Airlines 777-300ER. Um, the operation base is out of Dallas-Fort Worth. They have main hubs in JFK, LA, Miami, and Chicago O'Hare. Their focus city, uh, well, focus airport is... LaGuardia and um, the new livery on this aircraft uh, came in last year 2013 I think sort of late last year um, please tell me from if it was earlier in the year because I'm, I'm pretty sure it came near the end of the year um, and that was after the merger of US Airways where they bought it US Airways so uh, the merger's going through, they're going to paint US Airways um, aircraft into American Airlines colours uh, over the next few years. In the um, American Airlines 777 fleet, they have 61 777s, uh, 14 777 300 yards. They're the first and only airline in the, uh, in, in, uh, the US. To have a triple seven three hundred ER, and they have six more of these awesome aircraft on order. Now, um, I'm not going to give you their routes, but the destinations where they fly this aircraft to and from are Dallas, Fort Worth, Lax, JFK, Miami, Sao Paulo, London Heathrow, and Hong Kong. Hong Kong was the last one to be added, and I think that was. I think the route is from Dallas Fort Worth to Hong Kong and that was added in a couple months ago, maybe a month ago. So anyway, let's unbox this and this is a standard Gemini box. It's got a little flat open up here. Oops. We have, we have foam. Better than the uh, polystyrene. Lift it off. There we have it. So we've got some plastic to protect the paint on top of the model. Here we have. Landing gear down, and we have the replacements with the little toothpicks to take these out um, when you want to put the wheels back on. And here we have a standard Gemini stand again, no custom, no customized stand. Which um, you know, for a company like Gemini, they could afford to do a little plaque for each each um, each model. If JC Wings can do it, I, I'm guessing. American Airlines can do it. Um, American Airlines, uh, Gemini Jets can do it. Um, so yeah, this is the little blue film I just took off the back of the stand there. You can see it's all shiny. Sorry. <coughs> really ticklish through. Um, and then we have the pad on top of the stand to protect the paint underneath the model, especially this one because it's painted grey. It's uh, all the different... Alright guys, we are back here with the model out of the box. Sorry about my speaking, I'm sort of just a bit off today when I'm speaking, um, so yeah, forgive me. Uh, so here we go. At the front of the aircraft we have the cockpit windows, the window wipers, and here we have the front gear, 773, that means 777 300, E-tops, and right here 
by the first door we have one world logo yeah that's the best I can get it for some reason there you go the American the new American logo and American Airlines titles right there you see all the markings all the pedo tubes and all that kind of stuff and see that nice sort of it looks dull but it's more of more of a shiny shiny like gray kind of glittery finish you know it looks like it's got like glitter bits in it and then we have the massive GE90 115B engines I'll give you a little look on the inside here we on the inside of the engine in engine cow we have the um the air deflector so these engines massive uh, let's see if they spin they should as they all do there we go it spins quite easily in this one as well I'll just give you a quick look so I don't have to do this one the easiest spinning engines on on the model on on any model I should say um is these ones here we have the rate at the tip of the rake wingtip we have the red navigation light and that little um, that um strobe light right on the tip there and then we have the registration N seven one eight A N November seven one eight Alpha November. And then we have the tail, and I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be thirteen stripes. I think there's supposed to be another red one at the bottom. I think yeah, there's only twelve stripes when I counted them. So I mean, it doesn't matter too much to me because I'm not American. Um, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, when they should when they designed this they should have gone for 13 stripes uh, So here we have the APU just paint it on And Come to this side So at the front again, we have the cockpit windows window wipers all that stuff Nose gear door again all that same stuff there No one world logo on the side. They only have it on the left side of the aircraft American titles Oh, and I didn't show you this, uh, like on the other side, this is the landing lights, the head, the main headlights. Here we have the G90-115B engines, there's really no markings on the engines, just underneath them. Then we have the air deflector on the inside. Coming along the leading edge of the wing, we have right wing tip there with the strobe light and the green navigation light. Have the back of the aircraft. I, uh, I always forget to mention that the cargo door at the front here is all the pedo tubes, and then we have the cargo door at the back here with the luggage door beneath the registration in seven one eight a n. Then we have the American Airlines tail, and I give you a good look underneath the aircraft. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put it on the tripod. I sort of learnt it the hard way from doing the Korean Korean Air A380. It'd be a lot easier if I have my camera on the tripod and show you the aircraft with two hands. So it's not so shaky. There we have the nose gear, with the markings underneath the aircraft. We have a beacon light and the hole for the stand and then the main gears and the gear doors. Then just there we have an antenna. Show you underneath. Here we have the engine. Then you can see all the markings for the flaps and the slats, the aileron. There's the right wing tip. And on the side. Same thing. Bit of a mark there. There we go. And then coming down the aircraft, oh there we have the Gemini Jets logo. And another antenna. And down, that's uh, you know, if you ever have a tail strike, just knocks that so it doesn't damage the fuselage. And I think that's the escape door, if they ever, ever need it. And now, the top of the aircraft. So the cockpit. Beacon light and that hump there is for Wi-Fi and internet. Then we have an antenna. 
And on the left wing, we have the number one engine. We have the O-wing emergency exits, all the markings, as you can see. Beautiful raked wingtip. Ah, it does, it keeps going out of focus. Then we have the aileron, the leading edge slats, and the trailing edge flaps. And all the same on this side as well. Coming down to the back of the aircraft, um, this I think is just um, that hump there, that smaller hump that's uh, for like GPS and navigation. Whether the bigger hump is more for um, is for Wi-Fi. That's why all that's why the triple sevens, all of them have these, but not all of them have the other hump. Uh, so we have two antennas just there, and then we have the tail. And I'll just show you guys on the horizontal stabilizers. Uh, where is it? is yeah right there at, at the leading edge of the horizontal stabilizers you see those two gray dots should be on the side as well yeah there you see them those uh, lights illuminate the tail and night time all right so I'll put this this model on the stand give you a good look of it I um, should say reels roll very easily uh, steerable nose gear see Roll. and they tilt so I put it in when it's coming let's say it's take off or coming into land and they actually look like they improved the gear oh actually no no they didn't I thought they improved the gear see the the right one see it always tilt tilts the front of it tilts down lower than the left one for some reason and it shouldn't it should tilt the same and that's kind of what I find annoying so there we have it the American Airlines 777-300ER by Gemini Jets. So it's nearing the end of the video. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give this a like. Please share it with your friends, your family, um, and hopefully, um, you know this review can make help can help you to decide whether you want this model or not and I absolutely love this model um, and you will too so if you if you ever have the chance um, to get it get it don't hesitate on buying it um, also if you have any comments about this model or, or anything really and I'm going to going to be going to New York later this year to do some spotting and I want to get some good content for you guys um, some plane spotting so tell me would you like to see some of that I'm also going to be probably doing an in-flight sort of um, thing on the, on the Air New Zealand air, uh, flight up there and maybe one of the domestic flights so um, yep thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later